Hey there, my name's Trent Norman. I'm a curated expert on curated.com. I've helped hundreds of people find the right gear for them. And today we're gonna review the Atomic Maverick 100 Ti. Just so you know, these reviews are completely unbiased. We're not sponsored by any brands. Overall impression of the ski, this is a great ski. It's 100 underfoot. If you wanna go into the powder and the trees, it's really good. It's got a lot of good rocker in it. So it turns and pivots really quickly. Um, it's a responsive ski for being 100 underfoot. That width is going to give you great float when the time comes. It's a solid ski, so it's a beefy ski. It's going to go through that, that tougher snow, that crud, the chunder, the frozen chicken heads. These things are going to be great for busting right through there. So as you can see, that whole lot of rock right up front there. And that's great for getting that shorter radius turn when you're on the harder packed snow. If you want to lay these over and lay some marks, they're probably not the most responsive ski for that. But it's a nice thick ski. It's wide. It's 100 underfoot. Not too much wider up, up at the tip and the tail. So it's going to float really well. It's going to give you a great feel down the mountain. You're also going to find that there's just enough camber in there. And we can even hold it up and show you. There's just a little bit of camber there to give you some bend. So you'll get some grip on a longer turn. I was able to kind of put these over and I like a longer GS or Super G turn. And they, they gave me a little carve and let me come back around. This is a great ski for people who want to get into the bowls anywhere, the back bowls, the side country, the back country. Um, if you want to ski the trees, this is great. If you want to get into the, you know, those kind of unkempt bumps, this is going to be great because it's super responsive. You can get on the top of this and it'll just pivot right around. The length of this one is like, I think it's a 181 or so. So it was a little bit longer than what I would normally ski in the bumps, but I didn't really have a whole lot of problem getting them to come around because of the rocker and the camber. If you want to spend a whole lot of time on the front side, if you're going to be skiing like what we call our Colorado pack powder or that ice that they have back on back east or when it's just like a big sunny day and you don't have a lot of powder, this is probably not going to be a great ski for you. I think the person who's looking for something that's going to let them go and just explore the mountain, get off the trails, go in the trees, back bowls of bale, this is going to be a great ski for that. If you're going to be more front side, this is not the person you want. They're not the person who wants to ski on this. This is a good like advanced to expert ski. If you're in the beginner to intermediate to advanced zone, I'd, I'd look for something a little bit narrow underfoot. It's it's a damp ski, so it's a really dense ski. It's got a lot of weight to it. It's heavy, so you're not going to get a whole lot of chatter out of the tips here. I didn't notice that when I was going fast. It'll hold and be steady at, at speed. But again, if you want like some high speed, short radius turns, this is probably not the ski for that. This is like the dense ski. This is the power ski. This is the person who wants to charge hard. If you want to hit, you know, do a lot of side hits, or if you're going to take these into the park and, you know, hit the big kickers, you're going to feel the weight of them. They're, they're a little bit more of a dense ski for that. So I would say, if you want something that's going to be park playful and park friendly, this may not be your first choice. If you like these videos, be sure to subscribe, and you can watch more videos from Curated Experts.